What's up, Cammy? What's up, Cyber? You guys want to be in a video today, huh? All right, guys. So this is Cyber, my Doberman, and this is Cammy, my rescue. She's a staffy mix. So to answer your question, can a Doberman live in a smaller apartment? There's a few factors that play into that question where I can tell you yes, no, or maybe. So obviously, right off the bat, I'm not in a place to tell you whether you should get a dog or not because I don't know your situation. But I can tell you the situation that I was in like the comment said, a small to mid-sized apartment, and I made it work because he's still here now. I didn't get rid of him because I couldn't handle the high energy breed. I did my research. I knew what I was getting into, and I knew I was gonna change my lifestyle to match his lifestyle anywhere I can because I wanted to have this Doberman. If you're not a high energy person, meaning you're not gonna wanna go for walks or exercise this dog, don't get a Doberman because he's not gonna like being stuck inside when he has no means to get that energy out of his body. Now, obviously you got situations where people get a dog and they, they truly can't take care of that dog because of something they can't control. But if you get a dog and you're not exercising that dog and that dog becomes rambunctious, barking all day, digging up holes in the yard and you're blaming the dog, that's where there is a problem. It's not the dog's problem. The dog has no means to get rid of that energy. It's, it's, it's typed up. So I'm 100% confident that if I lived in a cardboard box, my dogs would love me just as much. Why? Well, dogs really don't care where you live. Whether you live in a cardboard box or a mansion, if you're giving that dog love, affection, always training it, just keeping its mind active, socialization and exercising, the dog's gonna love you the same amount. Now, Cyber could care less if I added an extra bedroom to my home, but I'm sure he would be thrilled if I added a bigger yard. So I would much rather live in a super small apartment that has direct access to a park than a mansion with a tiny yard. That's just how it is. Earlier in the video, when I said changing your lifestyle, before I had a dog, I never really biked. But then I got a dog and now I'm biking every day. I love it. He loves it. I love it because he loves it. Do I bike my smaller dog, Cammy? No, she's a little bit older. Like I said, she's a rescue. So those are things you have to keep in mind. If you're adopting an older dog, you might not have to exercise that dog as much as I'm telling you guys that I exercise cyber. But if you're getting a puppy or a younger dog, let me just tell you something. It started off with like, you know, 30 minute walks, then it goes to one hour walks. Oh my God, you're pushing a mile walk, maybe two miles the next day and three miles. Oh my gosh, now you're doing two to three walks a day. Now you're running. You can't keep up with the Doberman. A young Doberman in solid health can haul ass for a very long time. They're really athletic dogs. I bike and there's still times where like, I'm tired on a bike. And Cyber looks at me, he's like, Dad, why are you so tired? Keep going. So if you live in a smaller apartment, there's a few things you got to keep in mind. I assume there's going to be people around you. So you definitely wouldn't want your dog barking all day because then you're definitely going to get a complaint. So from the very start, you bring your dog home. Work on not enforcing barking with positive reinforcement. For exercise, maybe there's a dog park nearby, some hills that you can run with your dog, some trails that you can bike. I'm sure there's something. And if there's not, you know, maybe a dog, especially a high energy dog, like a Doberman, might not be the best for you. But I do truly think there's a dog out there for anybody. If you want that dog, you're gonna make it work. So if you really want a Doberman, you'll find a way. I lived in a small apartment, I found a way because I wanted this dog. If you want a Doberman and you're gonna put in the work to take care of it, do it. If you have a small apartment and you're just gonna have the dog sit inside all day and then you get home and you let him out on the balcony or a rooftop yard or whatever it is, and it's not gonna have that, that space outside to release all that energy, please don't get that dog. That might not be the best idea. Again, I don't know your situation, but I'm speaking from my experience. Also, when I say speaking from experience, I'm not just talking about raising cyber and you know adopting Cammy. It's not just that. When I was little, I had a family dog. That dog wasn't my responsibility. However, we did have to get rid of him because the neighbors complained about him barking all day, which is why I really, really want to enforce that you guys know what you're getting into. I don't mean to end the video like this, but at the same time, I don't want anybody else going through what I had to go through. I'm not trying to make you feel bad for me, 
but this was my first dog. That dog's name was Finnegan. Finnegan got ripped from my arms and sent away. That's how I saw it. That's, that's exaggerated. Finnegan wasn't getting the proper attention he needed. My mom worked a lot. I was seven years old. I didn't really know as much as I know now when it comes to taking care of dogs. And he did go to a better home. The reason why I'm telling you about Finnegan isn't to make you feel bad for me or to paint my mom as some bad person. It's so none of you guys have to go through getting rid of your dog, because it sucks. And imagine how that dog feels. When you get a dog, you want to make sure that that dog knows that you're its forever home. And it doesn't care if the small apartment is its forever home, if it's getting that proper exercise and attention. I hope that answered your question, and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Goodbye.